Hello everyone, Nicholson here, and welcome back to Coming Soon Movie News with Nicholson. This is a show where we break down all of the day's movie news and go over what it means for the production in general. If you're looking for a specific story, check the description of this video below and you can see the start times as to when they all start. But without any further ado, let's get started with today's Hot Topics. This news literally just dropped about 10 minutes ago. So. A character who we had up to this point believed was actually already dead in that universe has now been cast. Uh, J.K. Simmons has actually been cast as Commissioner Gordon in Justice League. Now, this is a little bit surprising. First off, great casting. Um, I think we're going to see a different James Gordon than we've seen before. I think this is going to be a little bit more of a harder edge Jim Gordon, maybe a little bit more of a manic Jim Gordon. He, J.K. Simmons can play a little unhinged. And I think that if we're going into already being established with a Batman that has been in uh, in existence for at least 20 years, 15 to 20 years at least, um, I would assume that this would be a more hardened, grizzled uh, Commissioner Gordon. Not like what we saw with Gary Oldman, who's, that was a great performance as Commissioner Gordon in the Dark Knight trilogy, but I think we're going to see a different Jim Gordon. And I think it's about time because, I mean, you had the... the, the um, who is it, Pat uh, Hingle, I believe was his name, who played him in the Tim Burton and Joel Schumacher movies. Um, and so that was very differently represented in the Dark Knight movie, so I think this is going to be even more so, and J.K. Simmons is the right guy to do that. Um, but this is really surprising, because up until this point, a lot of us had assumed that Commissioner Gordon was in fact already dead. Um, there was a rumor that came out, I think a year and a half ago, that the reason why, or maybe even two years ago, the reason why Commissioner Gordon was not being cast... Um, was that he was actually already dead in the universe, that he had died during Batman's previous exploits. Um, and, I mean, obviously that, that's not the case, but it's just... It, uh, and a lot of that was fueled by the fact that he was not in Batman v Superman. Um, it was just kind of strange that he wasn't going to be included in that. Now, maybe that was just because this was still acting as a Superman sequel with Batman being introduced and being a major player in it. Much like how with Captain America Civil War, it's very much a Captain America movie, but Iron Man has a major presence in it. I think that's what we're now getting with Batman v Superman is it will be... It will still be Superman's world that Batman's now entering, so we don't really get a lot of the the Batman esque um, backstory, and so maybe that's just why Commissioner Gordon um, is not in the movie. Maybe most of the the damage or fights or, or or scenes that take place in the movie take place in Metropolis and not in Gotham, or the majority of them at least. But this is really great casting, but there's one downside to it. And that means that he will not be returning to play J. Jonah Jameson in the new Spider-Man movies. There was actually just the other day he commented on the petition that's going around to get him to play the character again. And he's like, I'm, I'm all for it. Now, he's a working actor in Hollywood. He's up for anything. He's down for any role that comes his way. Um, but it just is sad that this is the final nail in the coffin that we will not be getting him back. And it's... Uh, I'm a little upset by that, but I can't really complain because he's going to be playing... Commissioner James Gordon in Justice League. I think that this is, I think this is genius casting. Now, there's really only from from our knowledge, he joins uh, Amber Heard. Amber Heard is the only other new cast member for Justice League because, um, from what I've been hearing, we are going to be seeing the Flash and Aquaman, uh, and maybe not Cyborg, but we'll see Victor Stone in uh, Batman v Superman, at least in minor roles or cameos. But um, the new roles cast for Justice League have been Mira, who is going to be played by Amber Heard, and now Commissioner Gordon, who's going to be played by J.K. Simmons. The last major one that I'm aware of, at least for, from information that hasn't come out yet, is uh, Darkseid, the guy who's going to be playing Darkseid. So we don't know exactly what sort of presence Darkseid's going to have, whether or not it's going to be um, mocap, whether or not it's going to be a guy in prosthetics, um, whether or not it's just going to be fully CGI with no mocap, we still don't know. Um, but I would assume because filming on that movie is uh, supposed to start by April 11th. So we're going to hear probably in the next couple of weeks, I'd say if he's even in Justice League 1, like that's the other thing. We don't even really know if Darkseid is in Justice League 1. I mean, all things have been hinting at that. You see the Omega symbol, you see the parademons in the trailers for Batman v Superman. So, I mean, it all points to Darkseid coming down our way. Now, whether or not he's the villain for Justice League Part 2 or both of them, we still don't know. But I would assume that we're going to hear casting on Darkseid within the next month uh, at the latest, the next month at the latest. So let me know what you guys think about this uh, casting in the comment section below. And, uh, you know, whether or not you feel that 
he was missed or, or uh, we still haven't seen the movie yet, but whether or not he will be missed in Batman v Superman, why he wasn't included in that movie, you know, put your comment in the comment section below. And if we get more information about this topic, then I will definitely update you guys on here. In other just breaking news, this one, I don't know if this one carries any anywhere near the same amount of weight, but it's at least a little bit more information about the new Spider-Man movie. So, um, the pop singer Zendaya, personally never heard of her, um, has been cast in the new movie. Now, um, uh, I don't believe that Sony has officially com uh, commented on this yet, but um, she was a previous Disney TV actress, so she has the connections with Disney. Um, they obviously have seen something in her to cast her in this movie. Now, the, there's not really any information at all revealed about the role, other than they believe the character is named Michelle. Now... They also don't believe that she's going to be a love interest. Um, this furthers a lot of comments about how originally Spider-Man, when they were casting Spider-Man, it was thought that Sony was going to go uh, more ethnic with their casting choice. Obviously, they went with a Caucasian Peter Parker, but uh, Boris Kitt from The Hollywood Reporter has stated that um, Sony is very heavily invested in selecting a multicultural supporting cast for the movie. So, um, include, And he even specified that he, it's likely, not confirmed, not or anything like that, but it's likely that the best friend character will be Asian if they can find the right actor. Now, he also did confirm with a follow-up tweet that he's not necessarily talking about Harry Osborn. They may not be introducing Harry Osborn in this film. We don't know exactly what's going to be happening with this because this is now in charge of uh, Marvel's now technically in charge. It's a Sony production, but Marvel, it's part of the Marvel universe, so they get to veto certain things if they don't feel that it's working right. Um, they obviously had a hand in the casting because they would not allow any choices to go through without them at least giving the okay. Maybe they weren't in the room or anything like that, but they gave the okay. Um, but I think that it's fascinating that we're getting we're getting a, a female character, a new character, not one at least from the source material that I'm aware of. Um, now, Michelle is a very common name, so there could be somebody in the comics. They just pulled it from one. I don't really know. But the interesting thing is that they specified that she's most likely not going to be a love interest. That, to me, is really encouraging because I am getting really sick and tired of in a lot of these superhero films. For the most part, the female roles are love interests, essentially. They're, they're, they're damsels in distress. They're for the, there's the odd exception. I mean, especially the, the most blatant one that comes to mind is both Black Widow and Wasp uh, from the Avengers movies and from Ant-Man, respectively. But... This could be another situation where we get a different type of female character in a movie, a very strong character. And I think that's what a lot of these superhero movies are going for. Um, there, I mean, we still don't even know the story details of the movie. She very well may be playing a villain. Um, now, with her casting, I would assume that she is going to be uh, uh, in the high school along with Peter Parker. I think they even mentioned that in the Hollywood Reporter article. But um, it's... I'm curious about this because they went completely off the grid with this. This was a very hush-hush casting call. Uh, not a lot of, of information about this leaked out. This is the first I was even hearing about it. Um, not to say that, you know, my ears are plugged in everywhere, but it's just very interesting that this hasn't come out yet, that they're searching for somebody. We still don't even know exactly when they're filming. I know that they're planning on filming this summer. I think it's June is their expected start date because they're coming out next July. Um but, I mean, it, it, she could be an ally, she could be a villain, she could just be a secondary character. They did say that while she's not a lead, she is a significant character. Whether or not that means they're setting up for future films, or she just plays an integral role, potentially as a villain, or at least a, a, an ancillary character who has conflict with Peter Parker. It, it's interesting. Um, I haven't seen any of her acting prowess, so I don't know exactly what kind of a performer she is. So I can't really comment on that. But it's interesting to me that they are going non uh, they're looking everywhere for people. And that's what I've always wanted. Like do a wide search, but wide search does not mean to search all over the place. It means look for anybody that embodies the characteristics that you're looking for, regardless of their, their appearance. If they embody the character, then you put them up against other people who embody the character and you cast the right person. If they did that here, then I am perfectly happy with that. Um, same with looking for, you know, potentially an Asian best friend. I don't know why they had to specify Asian. Um, maybe it's just because I think that Asians get the lowest representation in films. There was a study that just came out, so that might be why as well. They're, they're doing things right now almost forcibly to try to change the curve of Hollywood. And 
In certain circumstances, I think it is working, but in other circumstances, it almost feels like they're doing it just because they absolutely have to um, and not because they want to or because they feel that they found the right person. And I hope that that kind of attitude does uh, dissipate. But going back to Zendaya, which I still have no idea what kind of role she's going to play. I mean, Michelle could be anything. I, I personally hope that it's a villain. I personally hope that she is playing a villain or at least somebody in conflict with Peter Parker. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Is anybody out there familiar with her work? And if so, let me know what you thought about it in the comment section um, and whether or not you feel that this is good casting. Is she going to be just a friend? Is she going to be just a bystander? Is she going to be uh, potentially a villain? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And if I get any more information about this topic, then I will definitely update you guys on here. Well, that'll about do it for us here on Coming Soon Movie News with Nicholson. Thank you so much for watching. You guys have been a great audience. Go ahead and click that subscribe button there in the bottom corner. You get updates whenever a new video is posted. You can also follow me on Twitter or Facebook at Nicholson, N-I-K-L-S-U-N, for all of your movie updates. And also like our Facebook fan page at facebook.com slash movie news with Nicholson. If you ever have a topic or question like I've talked about on the show, go ahead and email me at movienewswithnicholson at gmail.com or put a comment in the comment section. But until until next time, you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.